All right, we're here at Pine Logs with Shauna Taggart and her work. And uh, yeah, just to talk a little bit about how she does her work, what it is and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, good to be here. Yeah, it's good to be here too. So hi, I'm Shauna. And I started working with ceramics a long time ago, actually. Um, started out way back in kindergarten. I took a little ceramics class thing with a, a local potter, Alice Hale. And my grandmother did some stuff in pottery as well, but my main uh, education for it was at the Alberta College of Art and Design in Calgary. And awesome. I studied there for five years, which and it's now AU Arts, I believe is what it's called. Yep. Yeah, yeah, Alberta University of the Arts. Yeah. Totally, totally. So I, sorry, yeah, go ahead. I was just saying I draw a lot of inspiration from the area where we live here. And totally. I grew up here, and after I got my degree and everything, the mountains called me back, and it's a good place to find inspiration. Yeah, definitely. I couldn't agree more. It's, um, yeah, and your family's lived in the valley here for a long time. Yes. Uh, well over a century. Yep. Yeah, just a, yesterday, actually, it was my grandfather's 92nd birthday. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's still in the, the old family house in the valley here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of history. Totally. Yeah. And so what's, uh, what do you usually work with? Uh, it's all ceramics, of course. Yeah, but, uh, so this is porcelain, yeah. uh, which I get uh, from Plainsman Clay, actually, out in Medicine Hat, Alberta. Oh, yeah. So fairly locally sourced. Yeah. And the process that I'll do is called slab building, as mm -hmm. opposed to wheel throwing, where you're on a wheel and you're having it spinning and forming the clay that way. This is all starting with, big blocks of clay that I'll work down into a uniform slab, cutting out sections and forming them together and altering things as I go, which really allows me to get some really quite unique forms. And as you could maybe see there when Ryan went into the cups and pattern on the inside even. Yeah, totally. It's which would be cool. really hard to do if you've wheel thrown the piece. Yeah. And I'll often do things, I, like with this one especially, you can see the unique forms that you can get, you can get sort of the undulating foot yeah. and it's not round like you would normally see on something wheel thrown. Yeah, totally. Oh, cool. And so uh, porcelain, how does it, how does it work? say compared to like a, a regular type of clay? Well, there's lots of different kinds of clay, but porcelain for me, it works really well as a canvas for my drawings because it fires so white. Right. And it'll also help the, the glaze color show as well because you can get everything from sort of white to buff colored to different shades of brown and gray in clay. But I find the porcelain works really quite well. And also with the history of it, it being a fairly precious material. Yeah. And which is what really got me started into doing porcelain jewelry. Totally. Yeah. That, and so the imagery is super, super fine. Mm -hmm. And, um, and so obviously there's, do you hand paint this on or how, is, how do you actually get the imagery in there? So for most of it, I won't actually hand paint it directly on, but they're all drawings that I've done. Yeah. And I make a transfer of the drawing using an iron oxide ink, which right. will get applied onto the already glaze fired surface. And I'll fire it again in a, a third firing in the kiln. So it's, it's quite a long process with a lot of steps, but the iron oxide will melt into the glaze. So my drawing will be on there permanently. Yeah. And it's a process, it's a technique that really allows me to get that fine, fine detail. And without having a lot of extra time put into an individual piece to get that detail directly on it. Right. Because I might spend like five or 10 hours drawing one animal. Yeah. So the transfer technique is a way to sort of make it more efficient and also to get the super small detail in there. Yeah, totally. Cause the detail is pretty amazing. Like, um, yeah, just like, 
the closer you look, the more you find essentially, which yeah. is, which is pretty cool. Um, and in that aspect, closer you look, the more you find, I like sort of having hidden things as well. Yes. So like you found the pattern on the inside of the cups, but I'll often uh, put different things on the bottom. So let's see, I think this one here has got a rabbit and some crocus yeah. flowers on there. And I'll often try to relate what's on the bottom to the imagery that I've used on the outside of the cups. Like I've got a couple antlers there that yeah. go with the deer. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. it's kind of nice too, because if you're drinking a cup, if you're sitting across from someone, you lift it up. Yeah. It's something for the person you're conversing with to, to see as well. A nice little surprise. Super cool. Yeah, a lot of thought goes into all of each piece, you know, like um, along with, uh, well, and it's just, it's, uh, yeah, the colors, and it's a really good combination of, of the colors, the imagery, and then functional wear, definitely, like mm -hmm. with it kind of being an elevated sort of uh, artistic expression as well. Yeah. Yeah, I really put a lot of time into each individual piece. Totally. I'm not just sort of pumping them out, in, even just the imagery, even though I'm sort of applying pre-drawn images for one cup, I might spend an hour and a half or so just trying to figure out what I'm putting on there and how it's all getting laid out. Totally. Oh, you found a little hidden yeah, owl in there. Yeah, there's like uh, the, the, the hidden owl in the trees. You yeah, know, in the boughs. Super cool. That's awesome. Yeah, and then for my, like the mugs in that, because it's quite a, a tactile experience using them, I like to sand the bottoms of the porcelain so they're super smooth as well, just so it's more of an enjoyable experience to use them. Yes, I, I, that's definitely one of the first things I noticed when I picked up one of your mugs was like just the, 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 the different tactile qualities between the super smooth porcelain and then the, 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 glaze. the glaze. And yeah, it's, it's awesome. Pretty cool experience of using them. But, uh, well, that's good. It's good to get a little bit of more insight into what goes into making these pieces. Yeah. Um, and right now we're, this of course is, we're down at Pine Logs Cultural Center here in Invermere and checking things out uh, for, we have the Mountain Moment show up and of course this is Shauna's display. And uh, yeah, hope, uh, hope you enjoyed uh, Learn a little bit more about Shauna's work.